let's uh let's get over to the work and chill screen here so i can see you how's it going everybody thank you for stopping by i'm gonna put some names on these packs here and uh and then we'll i think we're gonna open packs i think the structure of the show is going to be we're gonna talk about some weekly magic topics okay and then we're gonna open packs and then we are going to um and then we're going to talk about leaks okay so there were some leaks and we don't know if they're real or not but presumably they are real oh no oh man the lid of my pen this is like my favorite sharpie because it has like a pen side see it has a sharpie side and it has a pen side but the pen side just rolled into the garbage can so rip um anyways there's some leaks and i think we're going to um we're going to see about that we're going to see what they are we don't know if they're real but we're going to read them uh then we got to get derek's pack over here and i think i'm going to open a pack as well i think i'm going to open a, a collector's pack because those are fun to do and uh you know i feel like a little bit of a, a pick me up as they say so let me move this stuff out of the way hey what's up endo crisis glad we worked things out yeah me too man me too um it's a you know it's it's frustrating to have the post office doing what they're doing but like i don't really think like like also it's not really the post office fault either you know <laughs> they're like not they're not well funded and they're not ready for like a pandemic and like everything that's going on and you know it's like there's just packages out there that are just not showing up and it's the same thing with ebay you know a lot of my ebay orders they're just um uh you know they're kind of like they're not showing up and people they bought them for christmas or whatever and they're just like you know and i can't i can't blame people who are like yeah give me a refund you know because it's like yeah i understand you wanted it for christmas but i did everything like, I also did everything I was supposed to do. <laughs> like, I also took your order, not only yours, but all the people in, you know, on on, uh, on eBay and stuff. I took their order, you know, shipped it right away, packaged it well, you know, all that stuff. And it just, you know, it's no, it's really, I don't want to say it's nobody's fault, but it's really like, it's just, we're all in a bad situation. Me, the post office, some of my customers, you know, so I like... It's all good, man, and I appreciate you being uh, candid and honest and, like, straightforward. We worked it out, and everything's cool, man. But, but I am going to open some packs for you tonight. So I got two packs for you uh, right here. You can see, boom, because of the delay, because of the shipping delay. Also, I got one for Corey because of the shipping delay as well. Um, the Corey situation was actually my fault, so rip on me. Anyways, let's get started. We'll talk about, first thing I like to talk about is I like to give you a little tip of what card you should maybe look into buying. And today, uh, which one Which one do I want to go with? Um, there is, let's do this. Let's do this. Um, there's, a, there's a Pioneer deck that I want to talk about. I know, Pioneer, right? I mean, good gracious. We're going to actually talk about a format. We'll talk about Pioneer for a second. Um, I don't even know if the deck list is in this. Um, so what I started to do is this week I started to pick bulk, uh, bulk. And when I'm picking bulk, what I expect to happen is I expect that there is going to be in the next year or so, um, as the vaccine and stuff rolls out and as people start to come back to play Magic, as that stuff is happening, I expect there to be a surge in demand for s tournament staples right now tournament staples themselves are very low very low price because not a lot of people are playing paper tournament magic obviously um people are still playing uh edh webcam magic they are you know still building commander decks but we've really kind of lost that we've lost kind of the the customer who buys you know staples and so what I started to do is I started to look at deck lists this last week. I just, one of my favorite things to do is just go through and just look at them and, and try to figure out, okay, what are the staples in these formats? Pioneer is one of the formats I like to look at. I was specifically looking at Pioneer because I wanted to see if there was a party 
deck, a deck that utilized cards with the party mechanic. Even if it's not a deck, but it's a, even if it's a, if it's not like a party deck, but a deck that used cards that were from the party mechanic, I was interested in that because what's going to happen is that party mechanic is going to fill out while it's in standard and it's probably going to fully mature around the time when tournament magic might start to fire off again. Not like big GPs and stuff, but like stores and stuff like that. I think we'll be another standard set in and, um, you know, we'll have Keldheim and we might even have another standard set. I don't know. But like by that time, the party mechanic would have matured a bit and, I expect that a bunch of party cards are going to go up in price. So I kind of wanted to see like what party cards are seeing play right now. Like that's a slam dunk, right? If there's a card with the party mechanic that's seeing play now before the mechanic has matured, it makes sense that, you know, obviously that's going to be worth some money. Um, I didn't find any party cards, but I started to, um, I started to look around and I did see some interesting things. And I said, okay, this is probably you know, this is something to take note of. So I'm going to see if I can find the deck. The deck I'm looking for is a dredge deck. Um, okay. So we missed it here, but let's go back. We'll find it. We'll find it. Okay. So pioneer preliminary. We don't really want, we want a pioneer league is what we want. Um, I also looked at, I also looked at, you know, modern decks and stuff like that. Legacy decks just to see what's going on. Because when I was picking the bulk, I also want to know, you know, hey, I'm picking this bulk. What what other cards are seeing play? Like just random. And you'll see there's some random cards from from the new set that sees that sees play. And it's like, oh, I should probably put those aside, you know, because even though they're a sideboard card or something like that, you know, wilt, you know, I should pull my wilts or foil wilts, you know, that kind of stuff. People send me deck lists. Hey, can you get me this deck or whatever? I'm going to want to have that stuff on hand. So. What's up, Drew? Welcome. Man, long time no see. Drew and I used to work together in IT. Drew is like a mastermind at IT. Um, really, really smart guy. So welcome, Drew, to the stream. Thank you for stopping by, buddy. Um, so let's see if I can make my point here. Uh, I've been talking talking stuff up, but I have not found the deck that I'm talking about. Basically, the deck that I'm looking for, it's a dredge deck where everything, where it uses all double-faced lands. Um, still miss it, still missing it here. Wow, wow. I'm sorry. I wanted to be more prepared for this, but I, I'm not finding it here. Let's keep going. Wow, this was a week ago when I was looking at these deck lists. So uh, apparently, the deck itself is not like very strongly. Uh, what do you call that? It's represented, maybe. It. I don't recall. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, this is another. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Boom, we found it. Okay, so check this out. Um, so what we have here is a bunch of these double face lands. And I'm a big fan of these cards. So here's one, uh, Kazandu uh, Mammoth. Um, and then there's another one here, uh, a Florhedron, right? And you know, there's more here. Agadim's Awakening, uh, Balagad's Recovery, right? Um, and basically the whole mana base, the whole mana base is here, right? In these kind of lands. They run no actual lands. They just run these double face cards. And what I think is that the double face cards are going to be like, they're going to be like, they've kind of changed magic a bit. So they, they've changed the way double face cards have changed the way that people play magic. And this is a good example. This is like the extreme example where like you have all these double face cards that are lands here. And, um, and like, that's the extreme example. There's no lands in this thing, but like some of these cards, like, like Agadeem's awakening seems to be one of the big ones that seems to be like one of the ones that are. Let's take a look at the pricing, see where we're at. So the extended art is pretty close to the regular one, which I like to see, right? So like the regular, oh no, that's pretty close to the foil, sorry. Regular is 13, 12 to $13, extended art's $15, still pretty close. Let's open it up in a new tab. 
whenever I look at cards to buy, I'm always looking at, hey, what's the most rare version of this card that I can get, right? Um, it's like, you know, the extended art, extended art foil, if it's not like Pringled, you know, is a good example. Um, let's see. 15 bucks. I feel like that's pretty high. Like, I think in tournament season, right? In tournament season, this is probably, the extended art one is probably like a $20, $25 card. $15 is not, it's pretty close to that. Let's take a look at a different, let's take a look at another one. Let's see if we can find another. Um, let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. Balagad Recovery is like really, really great card. It's going to see play in tons of tournament decks. It's going to see play in Commander. It's great, but it's an uncommon. So, like, it's not very, like, you know, there's no extended art Balagad Recovery, which if there was, like, I'd be all into that. But there's not really. Um, let me, I guess the next one that I'm interested in is this Turn Timber Symbiosis. Let's take a look at that one. I'm looking for something that's in the, like, 5 to $8 range to make the to make the call and be like this is the one you guys should buy all right we're getting closer here we go six dollars you get it for 677 i think this is a good buy here's a good one. Oh wait no we want we want extended art what am i doing i'm in the regular one nine dollars hmm yeah that's a bit much it's weird, right? Because the other one's like six or seven bucks, but this is nine dollars. That's almost like a third more. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. It's close. It's close to what I'm looking for, but not quite. Um, I know that this one's going to be cheap. This is like the the cheaper one. I hope that this talk here is getting you thinking at least. At least it's getting you thinking about like the way that I'm like trying to pick out cards that I should be stocking up on. Yeah, this one's only this one's the uh, same price as the green one. If if given the choice between this and the green one, I would all I would check I would probably pick the green one. The green one seems more applicable. Um let's check this little guy out. This guy seems like I mean, this guy seems like like, you know, like he could be a couple bucks, right? Let's take a look. Okay. And, and for those of you who are just joining, what we're doing is we're looking for a card. We're looking for a card to make it like for me to say, hey, you should buy this card. Um, and uh, I'm using a dredge deck out of Pioneer to figure that out because I think these double face cards are going to have more implications beyond Pioneer. They're going to be in other formats and stuff like that. So I'm looking at stuff. Yeah, look at this. 79 cents for this. 14 cents. All right. I'll, this is going to be my call. I'm going to say this card the showcase version right and i think even the foil showcase because the double-sided foils are, are more flat than normal foils okay so i would say like the foil showcase version that you know like the market price on it's 79 cents that could be a five dollar card that could be a five dollar card so i like it that'll be that'll be my pick for the week that'll be my pick so and you know, any, any double face, uh, land cards you can get cheap, try to get the rarest version, you know, and I would say that's a good, that's a good little, uh, tip for you and check out this pioneer deck. It's pretty cool. This dredge one. All right. Let's talk about Keldheim. Now, again, we're going to open packs in just a minute because, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the Keldheim spoilers that we know or the previews as they call them. And then we're going to talk about the actual leaks. So I'm going to warn you before we talk about leaks. For those of you who are here who don't want to talk about leaks, uh, then you're going to have to leave after the pack opening because we're going to talk about some cards that were leaked that were that are maybe in Kaldheim that gives us a lot of information about the set. So, uh, you know, stick around for those who are interested. And those who are not interested, get out of here as soon as the packs are open. Okay. So, uh, I guess we got this, um, Saruf Realm Eater. Okay. It's a, it's a black and a green and a colorless. And it has, um, whenever a permanent or an opponent, wait, whenever a permanent, an opponent controls is put into the graveyard, 
from the battlefield put a 1-1 counter on Sarulf Realmeter. At the beginning of your upkeep, if Sarulf has one or more 1-1 counters on it, you may remove all the counters if you do exile each other non-land permanent with converted mana costs less than or equal to the number of counters. So basically, it's a big board wipe, right? <laughs> I just saw Drew. Uh, how to keep an audience 101. Leave if you don't want spoilers. <laughs> oh, man. I, I'm so bad at keeping an audience, right? <laughs> For those of you who clicked on Keldheim links but don't want Keldheim links... <laughs> <laughs> good one round table so this people are talking about this as a commander because a legendary creature and it's like a board wipe right you put a bunch of counters on it and then you can choose at the beginning of your upkeep to blow up the board uh some people don't like it because it's like oh we're gonna blow up the board every turn and that's dumb uh i really don't think it's gonna live that much you know um i feel like if it, if it really matters, people are going to blow it up. If it doesn't matter, they're just going to leave it there. Um, I think it's okay. I'm, I'm like not, I'm not like impressed. Uh, we got to look at the God cycle. I don't think we, we don't know what the whole God cycle is, but a couple things we got to see is we got to see, first of all, the new, um, kind of like showcase frame, which is, um, this, uh, this kind of like, celtic like style showcase frame which i think is really cool uh and th th they're more double face cards so on the on the front face you have this um halver god of battle which is two and two white creatures you control that are enchanted or equipped have double strike at the beginning of each combat you may attach target aura or equipment attached to a creature you control to target creature you control so you can kind of move auras or equipments around and then if you look at the other side boom it's not a land but instead it's an actually an equipment it's a two mana uh, uh colorless and a white the equipped creature gets plus two plus oh and vigilance whenever equipped creature dies return it to its owner's hand and then it's two to equip a uh, couple of things about this. Number one, you see an interesting trend that Wizards has been doing, and that is making equipment with a colored mana cost. One of the reasons for that is because making equipment ambiguous, like the sword cycle and stuff like that, is just not good for good design for the game, right? Because it breaks, it bleeds into the color pie into areas where it shouldn't go. Uh, I'm not impressed with this sword itself. I think it's kind of uh, weak. You know, uh, it just feels, I don't know, feels weak. I mean, one of the positive things about it is that it's cheap, right? It's two mana to put on, uh, two mana to put down, and then you can, like, best case scenario, you get a creature with, like, an enter the battlefield effect, and then you're like, oh, I put on my sword, and when it dies, I get it back. But it's like, to me, it's like, eh, like, that stuff is probably going to happen very little. Uh, people are going to kill your creature before it goes on the sword, and it's just kind of like, it's just not that impressive if you get the sword on the creature the biggest thing about it is just the fact that when it dies right two plus two plus O oh, and vigilance is like that's not like impressive like i would rather the creature just sit you know i would just rather the creature just like just hit me for an extra two i'm not gonna kill it so they get it back and get some kind of enter the battlefield effect so anyways that this week has been kind of sparse for magic news so um i think if you guys can think of a magic news topic that we should cover right now let me know we'll do that after the pack so if you can think of a, a topic this is all i had was this and then the actual leaks you know so we'll talk about the leaks after the packs so let's get started on the packs um oh first of all i gotta do something for sigmund okay so we're gonna get some juice box here let me make something for Sig here. So Sigmund is a new patron, all right? And I'm going to do a juice box pull for him cuz I did a juice box pull for all my all my um for all my patrons um last time. So this time I'm going to do a juice box pull for Sigmund since he joined right after I did the juice box pulls. And then we're going to open some packs and then um and then we're going to talk about some leaks. All right. All right, for those of you who don't know what the juice box is, it's a box of cards that are juicy, okay? 
Um, as you can see there, we got a foil. What do we got here? We got a foil, uh, you know, showcase frame Feldar Retreat. You know, we got a for Finn Hormels, for Garuda. You know, just a lot of cool stuff. The other thing is in here somewhere. Oh, look, we got a Walking Dead card. Woo, people hate those. Um, we got some, you know, secret layer planeswalkers, stuff like that. But the other thing in here, there is a there is a doubling season. Okay. There's a doubling season in here. Oh, and there's also booster tutor. Okay. So if we hit a booster tutor, we're gonna go into a Commander Legends pack. And the person that we make the pool for is going to get is going to get a um is going to get the best card out of the pack. So, you know just kind of a cool thing where's the doubling season oh man did i just like maybe i maybe i oh there it is boom so there is the doubling season it is in there it was pretty close pretty close all right so here we go let's shuffle it up welcome buckaroo welcome we're just doing a juice box for sigmund we're doing a juice box for sigmund we're gonna let me keep it on the screen just so you know i'm not like scumming scumming sigmund out of the out of the chance um so let's make a juice box pull for Sigmund. All right, here we go. Uh, what's it going to be? What's it going to be, Sigmund? Here it is. All right, Sigmund gets an etched foil, Helena, Kessick Ranger. Okay, I'm going to mark that for Sigmund. And um, also, we're going to do a juice box pull for Derek. Okay, so Derek's got a pack. We're going to open it for him soon. But Derek is on the weekly pack club plan that means every week i open up a pack for derek derek is actually the whole reason we have this show every week because he is the only weekly pack club member so he's already hit three of his pack club things and so you know because we hit number three for him we're gonna do a juice box pool as well let's see what derek gets here you go here you go buddy oh sweet you hit one of these awesome foil forest from m21 i don't even think they're in the regular booster boxes i think you had to do something for them but you got a sweet forest so i'm going to put that with your pack derek now we're going to put the juice box away and we're going to get some packs opened which will be a lot of fun i'm going to open derek's pack first because you know we want to kind of go up up the chain right so derek's pack he's got the the um the zendikar rising pack here and uh what we're gonna do is open that up i'm gonna do it first so i could stick that forest in there as well all right into the royal that's a good common right scale the heights i would have i would have picked those two cards if i was picking bulk right now spoils of adventure that i would have picked that too because of the party you know party mechanic uh demon's disciple sweet all right, two-sided land here. Coveted prize. All right, that's that's another party card. So uh, you might want to hold on to that, Derek. You might want to hold on to that until party blows up. All right, so that was the party. I believe it's a demonic tutor. Let's put that aside. All right, so I got Corey's pack and I got David's pack. And by the way, as we're opening packs here, if you yourself want a pack, so you're saying, hey, I would like to open up a collector's pack of Zendikar Rising, or I would like to open, you know, um, maybe a collector's pack of, you know, uh, Commander Legends, like I'm going to do in a minute. Um, then you can buy those packs right there, and we'll open it for you right here on stream, and I'll get it sent out to you. All right, Corey is next. Corey is next. All right, let's see what Corey gets here. Are we going to get open up the Jeweled Lotus? That's the big question. But also, um, you know, Vampiric Tutor is not bad either. Man, I've seen so much of this bulk. Like, the, first of all, the, the commons and uncommons in Commander Legends is great. So, like, Flesh Bag, you know, Commander Sphere. These are all great usable cards, right? All right, we're in the unco uncommon slot. Here we go. Bio Waste Blob. All right, you hit a bio waste blob. What do we get for our commanders? We got some uncommon commanders and, ooh, ooh, we got a foil. We got a foil root weaver druid. That's a nice hit. Sweet. 
Sweet. It's not bail worthy, but it's a nice hit. It's a nice hit. All right, Corey, congratulations on that. All right, David, This these packs are for David. Um, let's get these packs open. And, you know, we're going to do a little fun thing. We're going to do a fun thing. We're going to ship David's packs, and we're going to see if they make it to him before the other packs that I shipped almost a month ago. <laughs> let's have a race it'll be like a turtle race david we'll see if we get there all right we got a preordain um fire diamond all right come on give us some give us something good give us something good oh man blade griff prototype sorry buddy we missed on that one we missed what else did we get we got some uncommon commanders and Angel of the Dawn foil. That's a nice background and some nice birds. Love me some ooze and foil rare. Yeah. You joke, but that happened with one of my packages. I know, man. The post office is having the, the, the post office is struggling. The post office is struggling pretty hard. By the way, it's almost Christmas time. How's everybody doing? Oh my gosh. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve for those of you who celebrate. I do. I'm going to be taking the day off. I've been wiped, man. Today I've been taking, I've been, I took like a nap today. That's how wiped I am. All right, Corey. Wait. David. This is David's pack. This is, sorry, Corey, this is not your pack. David, this is your second pack. I started to lose my uh, focus here. Let's keep focused on the packs. Okay. Here we go. Uncommon away. Oh, wow. Wow. All right, David. I think all is forgiven, my friend. Look at that. We opened up a Vampiric Tutor. Man, what a nice hit. What a nice hit. All right, so we got some uncommon. Oh, and a, and a rare. A second rare in the pack. These things. Yeah, David has a win. <laughs> That was a sick pack, all right. Sick pack, buddy. Cannot believe it. Nice one. All right. I'm going to open a collector's pack for myself. It's been it's been one of those days. So let's open up a collector's pack. Let's see if we can get a win. Let's get a win and, you know. If this pack is bad, I'm going to throw it at the screen. I'm going to throw it. I'm just joking. I'm not going to do that. All right, let's see what we got. Foundry Inspector. I'll take it. Oh, we got a foil emoti. I just built a commander deck out of this. A foil war room. Ah, oh, we missed. I can already tell you we missed. Extended art command tower. Oh, we got a rejuvenating spring. That's not bad. I wish it was foil, but it's not bad. All right. What are we going to hit? We need to hit a good reprint. Come on, Thrasios. Moldratha? Not bad. And Gint, Arcane Weaver. Not a bad pack, but not a good pack. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's good, right? That's that's a good pack. I, I got to be happy with it. And two, like, these were not misses. It was after seeing the Vampiric Tutor. We were just like, dude, are we going to actually... Wow. Are we going to get there? All right, sweet. Uh, those packs are going to get shipped out. Well, actually, I don't think the mail goes tomorrow. So they're probably going to get shipped out uh, the day after or the day after that. I don't know. I don't know what, what the mail people are doing. But I'll get them shipped out as soon as possible. All right. Let me check if anybody purchased any packs. If not, then it's time to move on to the to the leaks to the leaks all right it's gonna take me a moment to figure this out please uh, bear with me i need the jeopardy theme music to go right now all right here we are let's check out the orders make sure we didn't miss anything uh we got something here let's see what, what this is it's an order, but I don't know what... It, oh, we do. We have a pack. We have a pack from George. George, are you here? 
<laughs> I like your email address, by the way, George. I'm not going to say it out loud for your privacy sake. So we do have a pack from George. Uh, we're going to open that up. Hopefully he's here to witness it and enjoy it. All right, let's let's dig let's dig a good one out. Where's my sharpie? Where's my sharp sharpie me? All right, let me let me cut this instead of rip. I don't want to rip it like a barbarian, you know. I'll give you a front front row view of me clipping a, a sticky note. All right, George, this pack is for you, my friend. Did I bore George out of the out of the building? I might have bored him with all my with all my meaningless chatter. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, George, this one's for you. Thank you for buying a pack. I hope you open some awesome stuff in here. Okay. Here we go. This is a cool set. Ooh, this is a commander card right here. Vast with Surge. I picked that one out of bulk. Okay. We got a, um, you know, double face card. Ooh, Mace of the Skyclaves. This is actually a cool card. Nice hit. And you got an angel. I don't know what it does, but it's a shiny angel. Right on. Right on. Thank you, George. Not a bad pack. We got a Mace, a Mace of the Skyclaves. I have that in my commander war chest. So we'll get that sent off to you, George. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, let's uh, let's go. Let's go to the leaks. OK, hey, if you don't want to hear about leaks, you got to leave right now. OK, you got to take off. I'm going to give 30 seconds because of stream delay. But um, but yeah, uh, if you don't want to hear about leaks, see you later. Thank you for joining. And, uh, you know, we'll see you next week. All right, let's get on with it. Let's get on with the leaks. Okay, so uh, a little bit of a disclaimer. Uh, we don't know if these are real, so we're not sure. Um, but we're going to talk about them as if they are real, okay? And uh, they were spoiled on Reddit. Uh, the first one is Battle for, uh, what's that? Bret Bretgard? Bretgard? Uh, so create a 1-1 one -one human warrior creature token create a one one green elf token and then in the third chapter um choose any number of artifacts tokens and or creature tokens you control with different names for each of them create a token that's a copy of it so um it's kind of cool it makes two tokens and then makes two more essentially so you get like four one ones for three mana um, but if you have different tokens with different names, like if you're playing some kind of populate deck or some kind of Selesnya deck, this seems pretty cool. Uh, again, cool to see Saga's back. This looks real to me. Uh, the card is pretty mediocre. So, you know, um, sometimes if you like, I don't know, it feels like a real magic card. Uh, what do you think about it? What do you guys think? I'm gonna have a drink of water. Do any of you have dreams of, of just, uh, feels too slow for standard. That's what Toes says. Yeah, I, I agree. Right. I agree. And like, if it was like duplicate all your tokens, then of course it's maybe it's too good, but it seems like that'd be awesome in like a Najila deck. I like, like, you know, you make a bunch of tokens with Najila and then you're like, I'm going to make them all again. So like. I like that kind of thing, but it doesn't do that. It says different names. Unless I'm able to name my tokens myself, right? So, like, I can be like, this one's name is Jerry. This one's name is Susan. This one's name is Bob. And then I can just copy those. Is that how it works? I don't think so. <laughs> David opened, David walked away when we opened his packs. Should we tell him what he opened? Should we tell David what he opened or should we keep him in suspense? I don't know. I'll tell you after the spoilers. I'll, t I'll tell you after the, after the leaks, David, but let's just say your packs were pretty exciting. 
It's interesting that it includes artifact tokens. We have treasure tokens, but I wonder if we're getting any other artifact tokens. That's a good point. That's a good point. Um, you can copy other, you know, artifact tokens that you make, like like treasures or, you know, if you were, there's a, there's a card that you like imprint an artifact on it and then you tap it and you make another artifact, right? That's interesting. All right, let's go on to the next one. Let's go on to the next one. We're not going to beat this dead horse here. All right. Arnie Broken Brow. This is two and a red legendary creature, which means it can be a commander. Uh, and it looks like it has a new um, a new keyword. So this is a 3-3 three, three with haste, and it says boast. And then it's like pay one. So I guess boast is a new keyword, maybe, if this is a real card. Um, you may change Arnie Broken Brow's power base power to one plus the greatest power among other creatures you control until the end of turn activate this ability only if this creature attack this turn and only once a turn so i guess you attack with it and then you pay the one and boom blow it up right it has haste so it happens like you could play it like on turn four you know i mean you're not going to have a huge creature on turn four unless you use like Phyrexian Dreadnought or something like that, you know. There's a lot of these kind of, um, like, if you think about, uh, what was it, Graven's? Graven or something like that. That was a commander where, like, you want creatures that have a big power or toughness and, like, that also, like, cost a little bit, right? So, like, what is it, you know, Ludivine Portal or whatever, you know, or, you know, the one that the mirror that you can only cast with, you know, mana that doesn't come from lands. <laughs> I don't know, you know, just all these weird creatures that are you know under costed overpowered that you can use to kind of buff this thing up that one sounds interesting what is your thought chat what do you think in chat let me know what you think about arnie um and while you're doing that i'm going to show david your packs so david here's your first pack let me let me go to the let me go let me let's take it to the other screen david here's your first pack um it was a bunch of poop. Your first pack was a bunch of poop. And a blade a blade griff prototype. Okay. That was uh that was your first pack. So you missed. You missed on your first pack. The second pack, however, did a little bit better than a blade griff prototype. A little tiny bit better. And your second pack had this little card in it right here. Congratulations on the best pool of the evening with the Vampire Tutor. So, yikes. Yikes. Are you impressed with that, though? Are you impressed with that? That was a pretty sweet pool. All right. So, Arnie, not so great. Vampire Tutor, really great. Okay, let's go on to the next leak we have here. And that is Blessing of Frost. Okay. Uh... <laughs> I did it. I did it when I opened it. All right, but you know I'll do it for you since you're here. All right, blessing of frost. Um, distribute. Okay, so this is the weird. This is weird, right? This is a, supposed to be a rare, and there was some. There was a bit of debate about this where people were like, "Hey, there wasn't supposed to be snow in the set. Why is there a snow card? You know this kind of stuff." And here is this snow card right here, um, and they. they Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> basically blessed of frost is three and a green it's a snow sorcery that's weird right snow sorcery uh distribute x plus one plus one counters among any number of creatures you control where x is the amount of snow mana spent to cast this spell then draw a card for each creature you control with power four or greater so interesting i'd, I'd like to hear about your thoughts on this one what do you think about snow sorcery? Also, does this pump Tarmogoy further, right? Does like snow count? No, that's like a super type, right? Snow doesn't count, right? Like legendary didn't count, right? So snow probably doesn't count, but that's crazy, right? That's insane, John. Thanks so much. <laughs> yeah, that was a, that was a sick pull, man. It made me want to open more packs. I was like, I should be opening more packs. What am I doing? What am I doing? 
I think I'm going to open a Zendikar. I think I'm going to open a Zendikar pack at the end of stream. I'm not sure. I don't know if I should keep opening these commander, these, uh, these, um, you know, these packs, uh, the collector packs. So yeah, that's what people are saying. Snowlands, Snowlands, uh, they're probably coming back. Snowlands are a great way to sell the set, right? Full art Snowlands, they do it all the time. They pull it out and everybody's like, yeah, we should buy that set. So I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think things like this, like a snow creature that comes in play with plus one counters or draws that many cards for how much snow you play, you know, that's super interesting. And I think that, uh, that just strengthens snow in general. And it already was really strong with Arkham's Astrolabe, uh, in older formats. So like formats like, you know, uh, modern and legacy Arkham's Astrolabe was huge. I think Arkham's Astrolabe got banned in modern. I don't remember, but you know, point being is that more cards like this are going to fuel or give an opportunity to, to further develop the snow things, you know? The main thing I've heard is that people don't want to see a reason to not play basics and standard. Snow needs some hate if they're going to ever balance it. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the things is people are like, well, I don't want a strictly better basic land, you know? But it's like, you can't put the cat back in the bag, right? You can't... It's just like dual lands, right? They just... They broke it by making the best dual lands like years ago right so like every iteration of dual land is going to be worse unless it's just like dual lands except you gain two life or you know dual lands except you draw a card you know it's like you know they kind of like so they close out when they design too efficiently right when their designs are too efficient then they they kind of bleed out any kind of um you know kind of like room they have in, in that area for more design space um, but they could do things like okay we developed snowlands what about like fire lands you know what i mean like okay that sounds dumb but snowlands sounds kind of dumb right so it's like oh my deck has fire basics and it yours has snow basics and you know hey maybe they're gonna start doing like other stuff like you know um electric basics you know or you know ghost basics or fairy basics i don't know you know maybe they'll do all kinds of different types and those types will do spe specific things beyond just make the color right and then they can redo the color pie right at that point fraley's is radiance what's that is that something we need to look up or is that a made-up card that jake uh, likes to uh, talk about all right while we're talking about snow, we're going to transition to the big daddy, the big leak, the one that has everyone all freaking out, and that is Vorin Klex. Okay, this is supposedly a mythic rare. Now, a couple things to note about it. Number one, it says Phyrexian Praetor on it. Okay, Phyrexian Praetor. So Phyrexian is a creature type now. Um, I don't know if it ever was, but Phyrexian Praetor. Uh, it has Trample and Haste. It's a 6-6. Six, six. Um, if you would put one or more counters on a permanent or, uh, or player, put twice that many of each of those kinds of counters on that permanent or player instead. If an opponent would put one or more counters on a permanent or player, they put half as many on each other half as many of each of those kinds of counters on that permanent or player round it down so round it down so like let's say you put one counter okay and then you round that down that's zero right so what does that mean what does it mean does it mean you can't activate certain planeswalkers abilities like, that's what I have a question about. Like, can, does this affect Planeswalker abilities, right? Like, can you tell, like, is the ability, because I thought the ability was part of the payment, right? So, like, you put two counters on it, and then you get, you know, you get the ability, right? But if you can't put two counters, does that mean you don't get the ability? I don't know. Of course, 
you know, infect is another thing that this kind of like hoses because they can't put the counters on. It also helps people who are playing infect because it doubles their counters, right? The other thing people are freaking out about is, hey, it's a, it's a Phyrexian Praetor. Like, does that mean there's more Phyrexian Praetors? Does that mean we're going to see Elishnorn? Uh, for a minute there, there was an Elishnorn floating around as a leak, uh, but it was super fake. Like, the Elishnorn was made from art with, you know, the art was from somebody who had done it as fan art. Um, you know, it was like the the little uh, thing down here, uh, whatever this is called, the the hollow stamp was all messed up. You know, it's all, it was, you know, it was not great. So, so yeah, that, uh, that's the, that's it. That's the leaks. So let me know what you think. Let's hear about it. The art, but the art was dope though, right? Nah, it was okay. I mean, it was like, it reminded me of Pan's Labyrinth. It reminded me of that. I mean, I, I don't know. I wasn't a fan of the art. I thought it was dumb. I thought it was dumb. But you are, have the, the right to your opinion. You can think it's awesome. Yeah. All right. So I think, uh, you know, I think that's it. I think that's it. That's all we had. I was thinking about opening another pack. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Uh, let's see. How many, how many packs do we have? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. I might do a little giveaway. I might do a giveaway. We have only six Commander Legends packs. We only have six of these Commander Legends packs left. We should just open these. Right? We should just open these packs. Let's just do it. Let's just open them. We're going to open these six. The most convincing piece of evidence I've seen for this one is that they added the original Vorinclex to the list. I like that card, so I hope he's real. This is a cool card, right? It feels real. It feels real. All right. I'm going to open these packs. I'm going to open these packs. And then I'm going to give one away. Okay? So let's start by opening. These are my packs, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give one away. So let's let's see what we get. We already got... The, the Vampiric Tutor already got opened. So, you know. We have to open... We have to do better than a Vampiric Tutor. Let's check it out. Let's get right to business. What do we get? Oh, we got a Nevenerals disc. Nice. And a foil ruptured spire. Let's keep going. Let's bust these puppies open. Ooh, a three visits. Not bad. Elvish Dreadlord. Oh man, opening all the bulk. Dude, these packs are these packs are not great. Not great. I don't want to keep opening them, but I have to. I commit it to it. I commit it to it. Let's keep going. Let's just see if there's a if it's a lotus and a you know if it's a lotus a lotus and a vampiric tutor box. All right, protege. Not bad. Oh man, Kirk. But look at I was like I saw this. I was like, oh man, I thought I, I for a minute it was like foil artifact. Didn't get there. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Um we're gonna give one of these packs away. Let's get Moobot going. Let's get Moobot going. All right. Get your get your giveaway fingers ready. All right, let's see. Um, all right, exclamation point, give me. Okay, that's how you join. Only join once. So exclamation point, give me. Just like that. All right, get in there, add yourself to the giveaway, and I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you this pack, okay? This is the pack. So I'm going to open this pack. And by the way, when we do these pack openings, usually it's with the, 
with the collector packs, with the collector packs, we um, we send you the whole pack. Okay. With these non-collector packs, what I do is I just send you the good stuff. So I'll send you the rare, um, the foil or whatever, whatever good common or uncommons. All right. So this is the giveaway pack. Let's open it. Let's see what the person won. What is this person going to win? What is this person going to win? All right. Oh, nice. We hit a mythic archon of coronation. That's sweet. Oh, double rare. Oh, this is a triple rare pack. All right. So we got, look at that. Nevinural and we got uh, Nostros. Wow, that was a good pack. That was a good pack. All right. This is the giveaway pack. We're going to keep this right here. All right. Let's pull the giveaway. Let's pull the giveaway. Let's see who won that loaded pack. Let's see who won that loaded pack. All right. Here we go. Uh, all right. I'm closing it. I'm closing it. Congratulations, Tybone. You win the pack. All right. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right, now it's my turn. Come on. With a pack like that, I should this is the last Commander Legends pack. First of all, let me make sure nobody bought it. <laughs> I definitely don't want to accidentally open this if someone bought it. This is the last pack. All right, all right. We're good. We're clear. The coast's clear. All right. What do we get? What do we get? Come on. Give me the goods. No. No. <laughs> Body of knowledge. Oh, this is the worst. Oh, man. I took the hits. I took the hits for you. I took all the bulk that was left in that box. I summoned it right to my right to my lucky stream there right on uh tybone make sure that you get me your address so that i know where to ship it and then um i'm gonna put the discord in here if you guys want to hang out in the discord there's the discord link i'm in there all the time and uh yeah that's all that's all for today and i hope everybody has a merry christmas and uh that you guys have a, a good week and i'll see you what comes first, next week or the first? I think is next week is the first? Wait a second. No, okay. So I'll see you on the 30th. That'll be our next stream where we do another pack opening. And then right after the 30th on Friday, we're going to do the big pack club opening. So if you want to get in on pack club, you want to get your packs, make sure that you get your orders in um, as soon as you have a chance. So uh we're gonna be opening a bunch of collector boosters on the first and that'll be awesome it'll be for the the pack club monthly members and this is for the weekly so again thanks so much for joining merry christmas to everyone merry christmas derek thank you so much for uh 